Hey friends, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Happy Saturday. Oh, um, today I will be at my craft show during the normal time that I would do my Facebook Live. So we're doing it early. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll be on later because Sunday and I will not have to do stuff in the afternoon. So anyways, guys, we're going to make a wreath. I'm not sure that this is the correct size. This was the suggested size for this house, but I'm thinking that I may want to shrink it down. So the way I'm going to attach this house to the wreath is with the little pipe cleaners so it will be removable if I need to and then I have a little bow that I'm going to put in there so anyways guys hey welcome to my page let's make this little cutie pie this little house and I have this fun wreath for it to go on yeah so anyways if you're out there watching just say hello if you're coming back and watching the replay just put hashtag replay I am thinking I need to make the house just slightly smaller um this this was from Amazon I actually ordered two more so I really am kind of thinking that, but I can use this house for something else. So I can put the stand on the back of it. Um, I actually should go grab that so I can, maybe that's what I'm going to do. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. We will get this all to the point where, um, and I just put welcome. I didn't put the address on this one. So I thought, well, I'm just going to do one that just says welcome. That might be fun. I do have a kickstand that I could put on this. I'm kind of changing my, my mind, but I want to show you how to do the wreath part so that if you want to put one on a wreath, but you're going to need a wreath bigger than this size. Okay. So what I would suggest if you are going to do this is do your house and then take the house to the store with you to fit it onto the wreath. Cause I think this one, um, is probably not the right size. Let me go grab the kickstand. Um, I have one cut out, so let me just go do that and then I will be right back. But let me put you down to this so you can be studying it and seeing what we're going to do. And, um, yeah, I'll just be, I'll be right back. Just hang in right here for a moment. Okay. So, and I'll show you what it looks like with the address too, because I have that. Sorry guys. <laughs> All right, so if you're wondering, if you just popped out here, running, where is Darlene? And why is it quiet? I just wanted to go grab the kickstand. So you can do this standing. So the house is available standing um, with holes at the top to hang it. Or you can put this one on a wreath and you can have your house number on it. I'll show you what that looks like. <laughs> yeah, I should have had this in here to begin with. Okay, there I am, there I am. All right, that is big. Why am I so big in the corner? <laughs> Maybe I need to make myself smaller. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> How is everybody? This is so funny. Um, all right, if you're out there watching, just say hello. It could be a hot mess Saturday for sure. Okay, so this is what it would look like if you just want the welcome on it. Not everybody's going to want their house number on it but let me show you what it's going to look like if you want your house number and you have it hanging i'll do this one later for myself this is our house number so you would just hang it with the jute okay so if you want it with for the wreath um it is not going to have the holes at the top or it shouldn't i need to talk to tara and make sure that she's not sending them out with the hole at the top okay so this is what it would be hanging okay this is for the wreath or um, for a stander so um, if you want to have welcome at the top and have your house number, you can. Um, you could have welcome home um, if you don't want to have the house number. I just chose on this one. I'm just doing welcome, okay? So here we go. How is everybody? My craft show went really well and um, uh, last day today. So we're going we're gonna to get this done. I may take this to the craft show. 
I was going to wait and not take anything um, because I wanted to be able to have everything done and take a picture. But, um, you know, I thinking about it more and more, and I'm trying to get in here so I can share this, thinking about it more and more, I can't do, like some people had wanted uh, like a kit for everything and and if, I, if they got everything, then they got a slight discount. It's too hard. There's too many things. There's too many different combinations. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But I do have everything listed. I have the candle cloche, cloche I think that's how you say it, um, posted. I have um, the, there's like little, little stands. Um, and there is, and the other thing that there is a tiered tray set. So all of that stuff. Um, no sound. There's no sound? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, is there sound now? Can you hear me now? That is really weird. You have no sound. Can you hear me now? Let me, let me see if I have sound on my phone because that'll tell me. Um, if you don't, oh, the, yeah, there is weird. sound. There is okay. sound. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. So there should be sound. Can you guys tell me if there's sound? <laughs> Someone. <laughs> All right. I think it's just because I was in the other room. Uh, just let me know. Hi, Karen Ross. How are you? Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this. If I if I don't have sound, I'm going to have to start completely over. But on my phone, I have sound. So you have sound. Okay, perfect. All right. So it was because I was out of the room grabbing stuff um, that you didn't have sound. Okay, my board. <laughs> All sorts of things have attached itself to it because it's tape. There's a Q-tip on it. There's plastic from a wrapper. There's jute. <laughs> There's more plastic. All right, so let's let's start painting. We have um, we have this. We're gonna we were gonna put this at the top of the wreath, but guys, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the house a little bit smaller for my wreath. Um, you guys will get the same size, but I need to do my house a little bit smaller because it is just too big for that wreath. Okay, I'll show you when we're all done. It is, it's just too big. So we're gonna make this one into a stander. So we're gonna take everything off. <laughs> you did two times and you and you don't have sound. Um, uh, yeah, everybody else has sound. That's so weird. Okay, they hear me fine. Hmm, I don't know why. Um, huh, I don't know. That is really odd. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's keep going. Um, if if it's just one person, then sometimes sometimes it's just an odd fluky thing. Okay, so um, pink for this, brown. Okay, brown for this. Um, the door is gonna be brown. Let me just sort stuff. <laughs> How's everybody doing? This is brown. Okay, these are green. All right. So the the bush part is green. The topiary. I think that's what it's called. Topiary. And then green is going to be the word welcome. Okay, so that's green. Okay, um, the, this is white and this is white. Okay, so white and white. And let me, yeah, it looks fine there. You see all my junk here. <laughs> Sorry, I have junk there. Um, I'm working on the Memorial Angels this morning. I'm just quickly lost your late brother's wife. Oh my gosh, on Wednesday. I found out the lady she was married to when he passed away. I said, oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. So niece's nephew lost mom and stepmom within a week. I am so sorry. That is so sad. So, um, gosh, that's a tough one. I'm so sorry. Um, how was the pup and how was the pup and how was the craft show? Oh, yeah. So let's talk about that. Um, okay. <laughs> you, you had sound and it went away. That is so weird. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what's happening, um, but it it could just be a Facebook glitch. Um, I let me see if I have sound on here still. Yeah, I have sound on my phone. Okay, that's really an odd thing. <laughs> okay, the hearts. So the hearts, um, pink, and the bottom of this is pink. I'm gonna just move this up. So yeah, it, it must be just a weird Facebook thing. So that is beyond my control. So um, we're just gonna we're just gonna try to deal with it for right now. Okay. So the bottom of the pops is the pink color, and then the hearts that go on here are white. So we'll put it over by white. Okay. And so the word these words are green. Okay. 
So I just try to sort them. These little hearts. So I have a heart that goes in the center of the wreath. And that is going to be pink. That goes over here. And then the heart that's up at the top of the chimney is pink. Okay, so I have everything sorted. And this is green. So green goes here. Okay. White, green, brown, black, pink. And the only thing on here, this part here is brown. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, I've, it is so... Facebook is just annoying sometimes. So, hi, Tony. How are you? Um, let me see here. You didn't get your Facebook notification. It doesn't surprise me. I know how that goes. <laughs> so, okay. So, the so the dog is doing good. Um, here's the update with the dog while, while we're painting. Okay. So, let's do our house. The whole, the whole house is black. Okay. So, I'll, I don't have to paint down here. If I don't want to waste my paint, I don't have to paint the entire thing. Um, so I usually just do, but I think I'll just stop today so I don't have to waste paint down there. So my husband took the, got, a, got an appointment, took the dog to the vet, and um, they did all sorts of tests. They gave her her shots, which now she's got, um, I think it's from the shots, guys. So she's got diarrhea right now. She was fine before, <laughs> and now she's got some diarrhea going on, but I swear it's going to be from the shots. They did not do a dewarming. They did do it. They were able to do a fecal test because she pooped for them in the office there. So they were able to collect that. And, and it was normal then. But now after her shots, she's got a little bit of diarrhea going on, which is gross <laughs> and stinky. So um, she weighs 14 pounds, which is... Okay, so here's the differences. So she weighs 14 pounds, which is more than what Chloe weighed when Chloe went missing. Chloe was 12 pounds and she would have lost weight. Um, the shaving her, it looks like her tail's been broken, but that could have happened at any point. Um, and what's the other difference? They said that this dog has not been spayed. Okay. So, so there are some slight differences that we noticed afterwards and you know, it might not be Chloe, but Chloe sent her to us. So for now we're taking care of this dog and if it ends up to be somebody's dog, um, then we will give it to them. Okay. So I would never keep somebody's dog, but, um, but we're kind of leaning towards at this point after everything, the appointment, the dog's healthy, the dog's healthy. Okay. So, um, after the appointment, we're leaning towards that. It probably is not Chloe, but Chloe certainly sent this dog to us to help heal. So, okay, this is burnt umber. Um, let me double check burnt umber. So, you know, so, so basically Chloe's still out there or Chloe passed away or, you know, I mean, we're still, we're, we're still searching. So they did have my husband leave the dog there and they sedated the dog and they, they trimmed her completely. So she, she is hairless. <laughs> she has no hair right now. She's bald completely. So hi, Deb. How are you? Hi, Sonia. Um, okay. So, so she has no hair. And so, so we're really leaning towards that it's not Chloe, but it's, it's her twin, basically. Um, we are going to do the DNA test as soon as it gets here. And we'll know. I've, I kind of feel like now that this dog is all shaved down, the snout is too, way too long for, for being Chloe. I feel like this dog is going to end up having Poodle in it. Um, probably Poodle and Shih Tzu. So, um and you know what? We're okay with all of this. We're fine with this. Um, we we always, always would love to have our sweet baby Chloe back. But we also know that things happen. And, you know, in, in my opinion, um, Chloe has sent this dog to us to take care of. So for now, we're going to keep this dog healthy. And, um, and we got her groomed. We spent... <laughs> <laughs> spent, a, spent, spent a bunch of money doing all the tests and got her shots. So she basically started over in shots. They think that she's three years old. So they estimated this dog to be three years old. So my husband was able to get her in with where my granddaughter um, goes and um, where she, not goes, where she works. So they gave us a discount, the family and friends discount, which was nice to have a little bit of money off that. But Honestly, guys, I am I am okay. I'm okay with the fact that um, it may not be her, but she has all the same mannerisms. That's the funny thing is that she's doing everything exactly like Chloe, Chloe would have done. Okay, that color, the green, is aloe. 
Um, so sometimes things are put in your pathway to help you heal. And in my opinion, that that's what's going on right now. Um, so now, now we're really focused on getting this little girl healthy. So, you know, it's, it's weird how things happen in life like that. But sometimes you have to accept that. Um, and me and my husband had talked recently and said, at some point, we have to accept that we just can't keep looking on a daily basis. I mean, me <laughs> looking on a daily basis, spending hours going through Facebook and answering messages and sending photos. You know, we can't keep doing that forever because it's mentally exhausting, honestly. So if I have to accept the fact that um, this is that maybe this is not Chloe, most likely it's not. Um, after after being shaved and everything, most likely it's not. Um, if I have to accept that, that's okay. You know, that's part of God's plan. So, um, but we love her to death. She is adorable and she's doing really well. She's a picky eater. So I, I'm not sure what we're going to end up feeding her, but she actually doesn't want the dog food. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to end up doing. We might have to find her a special dog food, but she's being really picky. Okay, so this color is um, vintage pink, and then I did brown in between. So thanks for sprinkling, guys. I appreciate that. Hi, Maria. Hi, Cheryl. Good morning, Carol. Hi, Kim. Um, you know, we just have to do what's right for the dog. The right thing for the dog is to get this dog healthy. So, um, honestly, we, um, we'll, we'll probably be a little sad if we find out that um, someone owns this dog and is looking for it. Our, our honest thoughts are that um, this, this dog, if it's, if it's not Chloe... <laughs> this dog has probably been missing for a while and the owner didn't want to deal with it. Um, but, you know, we're going to keep our ears open. And also the person that found it is is keeping their, ears, ear, their ears open. And we're just going to go from there. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> so that's the update. Crop show went really good. Um, it's always slower in the spring. Okay, so I just have to say that it's always slower in the spring. So we had we had times where there weren't that many people there. Okay, this is just all white. These hearts are white because they're going on the pink um, little topiary, um, the the pot, the pot part of the topiary. Okay, so white you always have to do two coats, but let's see how it looks. I kind of ac accidentally put a thicker coat on there. So let's dry this and see how it looks. And I got some in that little corner. Let me just get my stylus. There we go. So, so it's just so odd that she has exactly the same um, characteristics as Chloe. So we're going, okay, she was reincarnated. I don't really believe in that, but, but people were joking. Oh, she's so reincarnated, Chloe. But this dog is actually older than Chloe. So that, that doesn't work that way. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and dry. Yes, I know. See, I, I agree too. I totally agree about that. So, um, but you know, we're financially, we're able to take care of her. Some people can't, you know, some people would not have the money to do what we had to do yesterday. And it wasn't as expensive as I thought. It was, it was $600, which is a chunk of money, but it, I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. So we were prepared for it to be a lot more than that. So you're always grateful when you know somebody and you're able to get a discount. You're always grateful. Okay. So where did, where did I put the little dot? Um, it's hiding somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> so I need to paint, paint this black, the little dot that goes on the, the doorknob. So the little doorknob was hiding. Let me just grab my black. I'm gonna do it black. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where is that doorknob? So the white is the one that really needs to be dried and I need to take a look at it, see if we need to put a second coat. Now, I think this is gonna be too big for the wreath. We'll take a look at it when it's all painted. And you guys can tell me if you think it's too big for the wreath. If it's too big for the wreath, then I will just make it into a stander. So that's why I went and I grabbed the stand part. I think that's dry. Yeah. 
You know what? It's okay. I don't think I'm going to put a second coat. I think I'm going to go with just that. All right. So let's glue everything together. We, we don't, we're not going to ink anything. We're just going to glue it all together. Um, this, you know what? My husband forgot to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> my husband forgot to ask them to he 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 um he has said um can you check and see if she's chipped uh, this isn't quite dry hang on two seconds um and then he forgot to ask if they had checked so she goes back in in three weeks and now that she's completely shaved down we'll have we'll have them check again or what i can do is i can take her over and just have my, say my granddaughter will do it so because my granddaughter works in the front office and in the back so she, she she's both she's the she works in front office and she does the work in the back so now make sure there's no paint on the back when you're laying this on here this actually is a pretty quick project it is pretty quick so we'll glue it all together this is so cute i love i love this whole set it is really fun Okay, gonna get everything just laid on here the way it's supposed to be. And then we will glue it. Okay, this goes at the top. Then there's a little heart that goes up at the top of that. And then we have our topiaries. And this is all scored so you can see where it goes. And then these are two different sizes. So there's a tight, it's just slightly smaller, goes at the top. And then we have the bottom. So I'm gonna try to get to my craft show a little bit early too. I need to, um, I have to go park my trailer with the, the my truck with the trailer. I have to park it and walk down from the swimming pool area. If you've, if you've ever been there, I have to park up above so it's out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna glue all this together and then you guys can tell me if it's too big for the wreath that I found, okay? So the wreath that I found is the one that they suggested, the person that created the file um, suggested, but I think it's a little bit too small. So I may end up just making this one into a standard, but you guys are gonna be my people that tell me I'm trying to, something is like sticking up on the floor down here. There we go. Okay, so let's glue it. I love this. Isn't that so cute? Yes, um, chips can migrate. So they so they will scan her from head to toe is what they ju usually do. So um, it can go all the way down to the tail. So um, yes, so I will have them do that. And we'll see. We'll see if they find one this time. Um, and you know what? If they do and we find the owner, I'm okay with that. Sometimes you just have to do those things. So, uh, thank you, Kristen. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, Barb, how are you? So I, I'm fine with this. And the, the dog did not want to be in the kennel last night, guys. <laughs> so she slept on the couch. I, I actually thought I lost her. Okay, so I, I have the tracker. I bought, I bought her a tracker, but I didn't. Her, her um, collar wasn't coming in till today so I didn't have it on her and late last night when I finally went to bed I was looking for her and I was like oh my gosh where is she and I thought well maybe my husband took her into his um, room and is she's sleeping in there and um oops I need to touch that up there's a little bit that needs some paint <laughs> right here okay so so I was like where is she that's so weird she's missing and I look I, I go to walk to his to his door. See, remember he has a separate room because he goes he goes to work so early. So he he sleeps in a separate room because he goes to work at three o'clock in the morning. I go to bed at two o'clock. It doesn't always work out. So, anyways, he has his room. I go to walk there, and I was going to open the door and just look in there. She is sitting at the front door on our we have a little bench there, and she's looking out the front door. So it made me a little bit sad. Is she looking out the front door? Cause, she, cause she's like, it's time for me to go home now. I it just kind of made me a little bit sad. So, so honestly, um, if she's if it's not Chloe, which now that she's shaved down, it doesn't look like her. I said, I told you guys, her tail looks like it's been broken. Her tail is crooked on the end. Poor little thing. And in my opinion, it was a recent break because. Um, she'll look back at the, her tail will hit something and she'll look back at it like what was that so um, I don't think her tail's always been that way so it's just a little bit crooked on the end <laughs> so 
Anyways, it made me sad. She's sitting there looking out the door. So I carried her over and I was going to have her sleep with me, but she didn't want to lay with me. I, I had, I drug out the human dog bed <laughs> and I was going to, I was going to sleep in that with her, but she, she just hopped back up on the couch. So wherever she is comfortable is absolutely fine with me. Um, she did not want to stay in the kennel. She kept scratching at the kennel wanting out. And I'm like, you know what? Um, I am not going to make you stay in that kennel. And I did have to find her a sweater because she is hairless now. She has she has absolutely no hair. They shaved her, her head, her face, her tail, her legs. Um, when they sedated her, they just did everything. And the great thing is that she didn't have fleas or anything like that at all. So um, what are we calling her? Sophie. S-O-P-H-E-I-G-H. -E Sophie is what we're calling her for now. And like I said, the DNA test is on its way to me. I should I should get it today or Monday. I had it overnighted. We'll we'll do the test so we can be one hundred percent certain um, whether or not it's Chloe. And also, here's the other thing: you can actually find the owner if the owner ever did it before. You could find an owner that way. So it's DNA does not lie. People lie, <laughs> but DNA does not lie. So, okay, welcome. This is so darn cute, guys. I love this. So um, this one, this one can be on the wreath or as a stand, a stander. Um, I love this. Um, have you thought about, oh, so you just asked that question. Yeah, yeah. So she does. So we did have to pick a name. Um, and I, I left it up to my husband and Sophie was the name that he came up with. I said, it just has to end in E-I-G-H <laughs> because that's, that's kind of our tradition with all of our dogs. We have Molly, Bailey and Lacey, and they all ended in E-I-G-H, which just <laughs> my, my vet's office, they're used to it by now, but in the beginning, they're like, what? <laughs> and then, um, you know, we have Annie and we have Riley and we have Marley. So now we have Sophie. <laughs> and poor Stubby's just on his own. He just has regular spelling. Well, kind of. S-T-U-B-B-B. -B -B, yeah, S-T-U-B-B-E-E. -E. So Stubby is kind of, he's kind of on his own. So I just heard him, hubby got up. Um, he's probably taking out dog poop. They're, they've been really good um, about pooping on our little, we have doggy, like the little doggy pee pads there. So they've been really good at that. What they're not good at is peeing on them. I don't understand. It's like they might be standing on it and then their, their butt is hanging off. <laughs> we, have, we have pee accidents still with the dogs. It's just maddening sometimes. Look how cute this is. This is super cute. I think I'm gonna put some blue painters tape to hold that down because these corners are coming up a little bit. So I think I'll just do that and um, this is so fun. I love all these. Okay, so so if you wanted this one and you want it to say welcome, I'll show you the other one again because some of you have popped on after I showed the first one. So you can have welcome up here and then your house number down here. But I thought for a generic one to take to a craft show, I would do one that just says welcome. And I was gonna put this on the wreath, but I think it's too big. I need to I need to put blue painters tape to hold it down. Um, where is the house in the shop? It's in farmhouse. It's in the farmhouse section. So I can I'll drop you the link here in a second. All of these are in the farmhouse section. I just want to put some blue painters tape right here um, to help hold that because sometimes when you when you paint wood, it kind of warps. Um, it'll it'll kind of um, it was just sticking st sticking up. I want it to glue f flat to this. <laughs> And it wasn't doing it. It was sticking up. Okay, there we go. So let me put the let me put the link there for you. Same with same with this top. I think that I will just put a little bit of blue painters tape. Um, you can if 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 I wasn't moving it around, it probably would be fine. So let me just do this. And here we go. All right. So Monday, I will work on all of the um, the little gifts for the people that signed up for the Perks um, program. I, I owe them a gift, and I will work on all of that on Monday. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put one down here too. Sometimes you just got to do this for just a couple of minutes, literally like five minutes to hold that. 
Okay, um, let me get the shop for you and I'll show you the other, the house part. So let me get the whole shop. So everything's in farmhouse. All of these little things are in the farmhouse section. So, um, and you can sort by what's new. So share the collection, um, copy that. Okay, let me just, I'll just give you the whole collection so that you can look at all of that. So I'm not gonna just give you that one particular thing. You can scroll through, has everything. I have the, the candle holder things and I have, there's like risers, but let me show you this. So um, you can order it like this, like this is mine for my house number. So I want, I'm gonna make this hanging for my front door and I don't, I don't want the wreath on it. I just want it hanging. So this is how you could have this one like that too, like welcome and then have your house number or you can just have welcome. Um, it's up to you. You could have welcome in small and have ha home on here if you wanted to. So you can just tell us. So this one has holes. So this is for hanging. Okay. So I wanted to show you the difference. Um, all right. Let me see here. Let me bring up the wreath. And you guys tell me, is this wreath too small? This is the wreath that I ordered off of Amazon. And it was the wreath that was suggested by the person that created this file. But um, in your opinion, <laughs> I think the wreath is, I think the wreath is too small. Um, but let me just get it straight on here. And let me just go in a little bit so you can see the entire thing. Oh, I think that's as small as I can go. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think that the wreath is too small. Do you think that the wreath is too small? Oh, that reminds you for the perks. When you pay the $20 a month, then you get $20 in product cre credit. It expires in 30 days from when you signed up. So it expires. So it will be gone in 30 days if you don't use it. So yes, you have to use it um, within 30 days. So... I do, I think it's too small. I mean, I mean the wreath, I think the wreath is too small. You guys tell me, tell me what you think. Is it, is the wreath too small? And then I was gonna do a bow up in the corner. Should I get a bigger wreath or shrink down, shrink down the, um, the house? What's your opinion? This is gonna go up in the corner. I'm just gonna tie a bow with these two together. Um, you guys are on your own with your bows because I, I didn't want to choose your colors for you. So the, the bow doesn't come with it. The ribbon doesn't come with it. I was just gonna tie a bow with this. Hi, Lucia, how are you? Or Lucia, I'm not sure if it's Lucia or Lucia, probably Lucia. Um, let me go ahead and tie this bow. I was just gonna tie it with it together. Tell me your opinions. It needs, I, I really think that it needs to be a smaller house or a bigger wreath. Um, I think that it's not, the, to me, the sizing is not correct. So I think I should just make this into a stander to go to my craft show. Is that your your opinion too? This is just going to go up in the corner when I do do it. I think I need to make it smaller, bigger wreath if you put the bow. Um, you like it the way it is. I just think the wreath is too, sm too um, small. small. Yeah, yeah, keep the house the same size, but the wreath is bigger. Okay, but I have three of these wreaths, so so for these wreaths, I need to make smaller houses and just take those to craft shows is what I need to do um, because I'm stuck with the wreaths. So I'll, sh I'll shrink down a few houses and use these for my craft show. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna make this one into a stander because I do want it to, I think I'm gonna take this to my craft show today. I think I will, okay, so. Anyways, this is going to be the size that you guys are going to get. And I'm going to unplug my glue gun because I didn't end up needing that. Okay, that's the right one. Or I do need it. I actually need it for the back of this. That's okay. All right, so we're going to make this into a standard so I can just take it to the craft show. Um, you would loop the ribbon over the top of the wreath and under the house. Oh, yeah. Um, and use it as a hanger. Um, okay. I, I, my opinion is just it's the wreath is not the correct size. <laughs> so sadly, sadly, I have three of those. All right. So we're going to put this on the back and make this into a stander then. Okay. So the first thing to do is to get this into place to know where this goes. Okay. So, so we're going to, we're going to prefit this 
And then we'll do the same thing like we did the other day with the breadboard and we'll trace around this part. So make sure that it goes all the way to the bottom. And these are in here just like that, okay? And it's, it's centered pretty much. Okay, and then um, what we'll do is I'm gonna lift this out and I'm gonna trace around the bottom. Okay, so, so I'll be in search for a bigger wreath. <laughs> what I suggest, honestly, is create your little house and take it to the store so that you can fit it that way. Because it's hard to buy something online because you don't know if it's going to fluff out or not. I might have another wreath too. Um, I could, you could put this on here even with this, with the wreath. So if I find another wreath laying around my house somewhere, I'll do that. Okay, this is going to go on the back. Let me just get in a little bit closer now because it's so far away. I'm going to put some hot glue and I am going to use some regular glue. Okay, so regular glue is going to hold forever. Hot glue is going to hold it right away so it doesn't move. Okay, so regular glue and just a dab of hot glue on there. And I already unplugged it, so hopefully it'll still it'll still work. Okay, and then I got to get this in place and then just hold it down until it cools just a couple seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, regular glue. And then hot glue. So now I'll have a standard. I can take this to my craft show. And basically, I'll shrink down a few houses for the three wreaths that I have. Since I have three of them, I have to use them for something, right? <laughs> Definitely. Maybe I can get them done for my show next week. That would be nice. Um, okay, I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue. And then I'm going to quickly put this into there. And it's going to stand. So this is a stander. So, so I have this available as a stander, as a, a wreath um, that you can, you can put onto a wreath. So what I was going to do to attach this to my wreath, guys, I was going to glue the pipe cleaners on the back and then attach it to the wreath that way. So that's how I was going to, going to attach it. Okay, so push it down so it's all the way in there. And then this is going to stand. Okay, so the kickstand just goes out like that. All right, so it kind it leans quite a bit, but that's okay. All right, so I'm leaving the blue painters tape on for the moment till it till oh it actually feels like it's fine. I could probably take it off now. Remember, I told you it only takes a couple of minutes with the blue painters tape on there. I'll peel it from the back side. I think it's okay now. It just was it just was um, bowing up a little bit, and I didn't want it to bow up. So that's the solution: is to tape those corners until it stops doing that okay i think we're good I think we're going to take all of this off and our project is done and i can go and get ready to go to my craft show i'm gonna i'm gonna get there early so that i can get my my place for my truck and all of that i have to park a little bit of ways <laughs> and then i'm going to go in i'm going to create some projects while i while i'm waiting for the show to open because i have a lot of stuff to finish okay all right, super cute, guys. I'm going to put you up to myself so that you can see. Look at how cute this is. This is so fun. So it does lean back quite a bit, um, but that's okay. You can always adjust that. You can always kind of adjust it. Like, I kind of like it like that. Um, where is the next show? The next show is my show down in... Um, down in Chula Vista. So I'll post that flyer. Yeah, the My Show is um, next weekend in Chula Vista on 8th Street at the church. So that is my craft show. So if you're available to come, I would love to see you guys. <laughs> Anybody that's in the area, look how cute that is. So so you don't have to do like, like I have on this other one where it says welcome and then the house number. I'm gonna do this one for my front door. So I didn't want a wreath on my front door. I'm not really a wreath person, so I will do this one with the house number, and it just hangs. So um, it says welcome, and then the house number. I'll put that on my front door. <laughs> Super cute, guys. All right, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will do as well, and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Um, and tomorrow I don't, I just have something going on in the morning. So I will be on in the afternoon for you guys tomorrow. So have a wonderful Saturday. I love you guys. This is my favorite time of the day. You guys are the best. I love being here with you guys. If you have questions, you can just send me a message and I will try to get everything answered and try to get everything taken care of that needs to be taken care of. 
<laughs> All right, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day.